All right, uh, it is a great pleasure, a great honor for me to be sitting with my, one of my favorite directors, Mr. Ron well, Howard. Thank you, thank you. Um, I enjoyed your movie, The, the Dilemma. Right. It, it asks a serious question I think that we all have to ask right. you know, sometime in life, even if it's not around infidelity. Right. And it brings me to my first question. You and Brian Grazer have worked together on a lot of pictures, and I'm sure y'all have a, a friendship yep. outside of the profession also. Is there any time that you as a friend or he as a friend has to kind of check your aspirations like oh, maybe that's not a good idea absolutely you know and I think and I and because we really do care about each other and we're friends as well as partners you know um, you know you gotta you 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 you, you want to be careful about about the way you go about that you know and and uh, and it's 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 uh, it's tricky uh, the the and you know where where is the where is the truth and trust and you know where do they where do they meet where does that all begin and, and end and we just kept finding that the more we really took a look at that in our movie the funnier the scenes got right. and because that was our you know that was our approach was to try to find the comedy in that right and I know you you've done comedies in the past with, with Splash and Parenthood and, mm -hmm. and stuff um, but is there a different approach to to the, to, the, to the dramas I always hear that comedy is harder to yeah. to do. Well, comedy has to work on a, on a bunch of different levels, and and uh, and and this this was one that you know you want to get at the truth the same way I would if I was doing you know a Beautiful Mind or you know or 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 Frost Nixon or something you know, right. but you, you know you're you uh, you got to deliver the laughs and right, and right. and uh, you know and you want you want people to take that away with them, right. so it's the the sort of all the twists and turns. Are kind of like the extra bonus stuff. You want to make sure that the laughs are there, and and um, and if they're not, you know that's something you have to work on. So that's it does it does create a real challenge. That challenge gets a whole lot simpler when you have um, Vince Vaughn and Kevin James, and also when you, you know, I mean, I I I knew I knew Queen Latifah was funny, but she she was right there toe to toe with Vince. Right, you know, right, I mean, right. I I we were all wishing it was a it was a, a, an even bigger supporting role right, uh, right. because she she just brought so much to the party every day. Yeah, it, it seems like she has like this natural funny about her that you that you get on screen all the time. She was great, and her chemistry with with Vince was great. But but Vince and Kevin James's uh, chemistry was was good, and that was that's so important, you know, because it's uh, I mean, yeah, it's a it's a movie that's about something, but. It's really an emotional idea. It's not like you know. I don't want the audience sitting there and getting a headache thinking about it. I mean, it's a ride I want them to go on. Right. And so, not only do you want the comedy to come out of the friendship, but you also want there to be some heart, and you want to believe it and relate to it, you know, as a person. Are you anxious for this to go? Ronnie, somewhere? Ronnie, I know you. I know where you're headed with this. Look, I don't need this to be something that it's not. I don't want it to be something if it's not just to make me okay. But is there a clock that's ticking? Are you in a hurry to be heading somewhere? You know, there's always a clock. And I'm wondering, is the ticking getting to a point where the clock's gonna go let's off? Ju let's just talk through this, okay? Yeah. I have fun with you. I love being with you. I think we've done a great job of getting back to a really good place. I'm happy. Now, if all of that rolls into something else, that can make me happy too. I love you. Now, I know um, from the notes that, that you heard the idea from Brian Gray's over, yeah. over dinner in Rome. Yeah. Is that how a lot of these movies are born? Does it, does it start with just a, like a notion, kind of what if or notion? Uh, you know, Brian's a pretty good idea guy. And um, I, going back to Night Shift and Splash, those were his ideas. But mm -hmm. um, you know, he also found the article for Beautiful Mind. Mm -hmm. We won the Academy Award on that one. So he, he's great at sort of identifying these really interesting one or two sentences that get, get you thinking and that you haven't really necessarily seen before. And that's what I liked about this comedy, mm -hmm. is it had a chance to be really funny, but yet, you know, be fresh. And it, that's a really hard thing to do th these days. When you're trying to get people to go out to the movies, mm -hmm. you know, you, you need to give them something that's, uh, that, that, that feels like it's, Ill. it's a real ride. Okay. You, there's a recurring theme in the movie where you say, like, this, this is your one opportunity and it's your one shot and you got to make it happen. Can you take us to a time when, where you could see yourself in that thing where it was your one shot and you built upon that to make this great career? I, d I definitely can look at a few, a few, really uh, turning points, you know, and uh, um, 
And for, for me, it was probably the first time I really directed a movie, which was this comedy called Grand Theft Auto. Not the video game, but before that, <laughs> right, right. Uh, for Roger Corman, car crashes and craziness. But for me, it was a it was a real life or death deal. You know, it was right. like I had to had to make it be something. You know, mm -hmm. didn't have a lot of money to work with, but had to make it happen. But the fact is that in a business um, a, a, a like mine and a way of life like mine, you kind of face that every so often. Yeah. And uh, you know, maybe you've had a couple of disappointing movies. And now you feel like this next one is, is you know, you got to prove yourself all over again. And mm -hmm. certainly for every story, you're always feeling that it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a new idea. Right. And, and you really, you know, you've given it everything you've got, but what do people think? And right. uh, so that, that, that feeling is something that, that most of us, I think, um, in this, in this kind of work, uh, live with. Well, I commend you on a great career. Keep Thank on you. making these movies. We'll keep on watching them. I appreciate it. That's all nice right. of you to say. Okay. <laughs>